Hey guys, Pickle Rick here from Llama Labs team. Welcome to another episode of Sailing the Open Sea with Pickle Rick. On uh, today's episode, we're going to touch briefly on Doge Pound as we got a large influx of requests from the Doge Pound community. Provide some updates on how they're looking. It's an OG project, so happy to kind of check in with what's been going on with that project. We're also going to look over Cellmates, a project we've been you know, keeping tabs on launched last month. Lots of blue chip holders have gotten in on this project. Lots of teases from the team on Twitter. You know, the marketing has been pretty solid. So we'll check in with uh, what the recent updates were on that. And we'll also touch briefly on the Mutant Cartel uh, project that's had some calls recently. Uh, Swanee mentioned it in our server. Seems they've got an upcoming collection, so uh, that's going to be something we'll touch on as well. Go ahead and get started here with cellmates they've been kind of teasing the you know the reveal for the past uh, couple weeks and today you know they had some tweets regarding criminals being summoned for judgment uh, which was basically the reveal so there are still the unrevealed crime reports sitting at around a 0.75 floor uh, we've been seeing these you know unrevealed revealed projects ever since uh, Renga kind of blew up. The revealed, uh, they were, we did see some dip sales around 0.41 and they have gotten gone back up to 0.5. We've seen some rares going for pretty high prices over in ETH, this one 4.6, uh, here 2.8. Uh, you do need to be careful though because this is, you know, only not even half of the supply has revealed yet. So rankings could change a lot. You know, this could stay around, you know, 60 to 70, but maybe a lot of the rares haven't revealed yet. And, and this could end up being, you know, a rank 100 and it's possible this person, you know, way overspent. So uh, that's one of the tricky things about the reveals. Um, you may, you know, if you find one that you vibe with close to the floor, that'd be a great way to enter the ecosystem. But, you know, the unrevealed, um, might be, you know, might be a better shot at uh, at getting a rare. So we'll go ahead and switch it over to Doge Pound. Um, you know, they've been providing some some updates recently, doing more Twitter Spaces. They have their weekly roundup newsletter. Uh, they announced recently that they were being integrated into Arcade's game. They have their character integration. So that was a pretty pretty cool announcement. We've seen their floor go up recently from about, uh, it was, you know, 0.25, almost, uh, you know, 0.2, uh, pumped to about 0.35. This is an OG project, been around for a long time. I think peaked around three to four ETH floor. You know, still a project where you see some of the, you know, you still see the profile pictures around. The community is still pretty engaged on Twitter, pretty strong. Uh, they also have their puppies that are sitting at a 0.04 floor. Uh, only around 100 listed for the puppies as well. So, you know, if you are trying to get into the ecosystem, there's still a few sales daily. Uh, same with Doge Pound, we've been seeing pretty good sales, you know, decent number of sales past week. If you're looking for like those historical type, uh, you know, OG projects, this has been one that's had a dip entry for a while. Floor has slowly been uh, been rising, still not too many listings, you know, on a 10K supply, only 250. Any sweeps or big announcements, major partnership announcements or anything like that could uh, could result in a floor increase. So if you're looking to get involved with a, you know, an OG community, definitely take a look at the Doge Pound or or the Doge Pound puppies. You know, just wanted to take a moment here, make sure that uh, if you are tuning in, if you're not subscribed already, uh, if you could hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications as well. You know, we're pretty much giving free alpha with these YouTube videos. Um, 
obviously in our community, uh, we go way more in depth on these analysis and calls for our holders. But you know, this is just some free content for uh, you know that we wanted to provide to the greater NFT space, get more people educated on what they could be looking at. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the mutant cartel. Uh, it's basically a community of mutant apes uh, that kind of started their own project. They've been doing a lot of marketing recently, getting a lot of calls, and they're releasing a 10K supply uh, project of hounds. Um, so they do have a an NFT already, a Genesis, you know, a pledge pass and a VIP pass. I think uh, they were called in our server around 0.35 for the pledges. Uh, we've seen that go to uh, about a 0 0.6. Looks, looks here, we called it around 0.37, went to 0 0.6. Currently on a retrace back to 0 0.53, but it, it did dip a little bit lower. So um, as you know, as it gets closer to the launch, uh, there is a snapshot coming up. So we've been seeing uh, low listings and steady sales uh, over the past you know week. The VIP, I think, is around a 0.9 floor right now. It did get over an ETH, so it's also currently at a retrace. Um, but yeah, so if we see here, Swanee did make a note of when the snapshot was and when the minting would occur as well. Uh, so make sure that you're keeping up to date with the Mutant Cartel Twitter account. Um, just you know, watching their announcements as well, because the, we could see the floor continue to rise. Um, obviously, post mint on these types of collection or post snapshot, we tend to see um, tend to see some people taking profits. Uh, so you know, if you if you're holding for the mint, um, don't be too discouraged if you see a small dip after the uh, snapshot or after the mint. That's going to be it for this week. Uh, we'll probably continue to keep an eye on cellmates as lots of big names are invested in this project. Lots of above floor buys, steady volume for the past couple of weeks. So this is going to be a big project to keep your eye on for the next, uh, you know, for the short term, maybe mid to long term as well. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, one more time, if you could like, comment, and um, subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Let us know if there's any projects you want us to take a look at next week in the comments below. <laughs>